Hi, 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 hi. All right, I'm gay. You can stop thinking about it. <laughs> you can laugh at me being gay. It's okay. I see you straight people. I like being gay. Yeah, you're gay or... Oh, you did not like that at all. <laughs> you're gay now. You laughed at my jokes. Gay little bitch. All right. All right, let's get started. I like being gay. My favorite part is uh, the homophobia has gotten pretty good. <laughs> yeah, it's gotten pretty good. You guys hear about this pastor in the South who said he'd unlock the problem to getting rid of all the gays? Yeah, it's on YouTube. Fantastic. You have to watch it. He's like, well, the first thing we got to do, we got to take all the lesbians, put them in a big electrified fence, cage them in. Stop right there. I'm in. <laughs> Put me in the cage with the other lesbians. I don't need to know the rest. Let's just fucking do it. Sometimes I feel a little bit more like a guy socially than a... Because I'm not like a regular woman. You guys picked up on that, right? <laughs> I see some regular women. You guys have complex social rules that I don't fully understand. Uh, maybe the men know it better than the women because it's so bizarre. Women will break up with their friends. You've, you've heard this, right? Like, how they're too toxic. I had to end that. And I'm like, end what? Brunch? What are you talking about? You've never heard a man be like, with Dave, I just give and I give and I give and I give. <laughs> so much advice about crypto and he never <laughs> reciprocates, right? Ask a man about his best friend. He is loyal. He's like, Dan, I thought beside that man, I would die for him. <laughs> You're like, you guys meet in the service? Nah, Nick's game, three weeks ago. <laughs> I have a couple lesbian surprises. I'm uh, sporting a Brazilian right now. This guy lost his shit over that. <laughs> I know, and then I got a couple woos from some creeps. I like that, that's good. I know, right? It is surprising, a lesbian with a Brazilian. Kelly, like, can you be a lesbian with a Brazilian? Like, I was scared to get my wax, not because of the pain, but I was like, is this gonna fundamentally change who I am? Like, they'll rip out that last strip and I'll wake up with a dick in my mouth and my nail's done. Like, what is gonna happen? Are we pulling back on dick in my mouth? If you're gonna pull back, on dick in my mouth and my nails done, you're gonna hate the rest of my fucking set, okay, you pieces of shit? I woke up this morning, I said, don't do crowd work, Ashley, and... I can't help it, I'm sort of a genius at it. All right. I love my Brazilian, though, I love it. I think it looks better, it feels better. I got cat called leaving the salon. I walked out of the wax center and this dude was like, damn, girl. You got that fresh wax pussy glow! <laughs> and I look like this all the time. I'm a lesbian, I'm a feminist. I never get catcalled, but I've been training for this moment my entire fucking life. <laughs> One goddamn wax. I'm like, oh my God, thank you. <laughs> uh, he's my boyfriend now, so. That's not the best cat call I've ever gotten. The best cat call I've ever gotten, true story. I was walking down the street and this guy went, hey. I got a nice dick for your asshole. <laughs> that was it. And I burst out laughing. Because as a feminist, I'm mad. But as a consumer, I'm impressed. I don't have any questions about the product, right? I also appreciate the brevity of the cat call. Very short, concise. No fat on the cat call. He sees him walking, he's got a small window to sell me on his cock. The guy's like an old time newsie, right? He's out on the corner like, Wall Street crashes, dicks for your asshole. <laughs> yeah, but I was with a woman at the time and it was sort of new. And I think the men in here kind of know that when it's new and you're with a woman, you get a little bit. <laughs> and lesbians especially get a little. <sighs> Because I don't know if there are any lesbians in here, but I consider myself slightly... <laughs> Great, cool, one. <laughs> I consider myself... You? You're thinking? You're... 
you're just gonna decide right now? No, go ahead, let's share with Comedy Central and the entire world whether or not you're gay. But I consider myself a little bit masculine, you seem a little bit feminine, and when I date feminine women, it's interesting, because I disappear in the eyes of men when I'm walking around with them. When you're a lesbian and you put on a backwards baseball cap, it's like the Harry Potter invisibility cloak. They don't see us anymore. They just see these hot feminine women and they hit on our girls, so we have a chip on our shoulder. And when men hit on a lesbian's girl, we do what I call the little butch shuffle. We... So I butch shuffle on over to this guy. No plan. Also, not an easy person to confront, a cat caller. The dick for your asshole man. No plan. I just go up to him, I go, hey dude, I'm gay. And then he went, shit, fuck, I had no idea. God damn it. I'm sorry. And then he shook my hand. <laughs> said, love wins, man, and walked away. It blew my mind. My whole life, I'm like, cat calls are crazy. They can't be reasoned with. No, they're social liberals. They live amongst us. They're here. This guy is a cat caller and a gay rights supporter. He's like, I fought for your two's right to get married, and if you do, I'll tap both your asses, that's what I'll do. Have a great day. All right, I'm gonna try and fit one in now. I'm single and uh, I think it's because I'm 35 and I dress like a middle school fuck boy, so. No one should dress like this, nobody. My name's Ashley Gavin, I think I dress like my name's Just Gavin. The look I'm trying to go for is like confident, androgynous, handsome woman, but I think I'm more in the realm of like troubled, pubescent, beautiful boy. If you can't see it from the front, let me just skate away. Not a gender thing, I identify as a woman, it's just that other people identify me as Kyle from Spanish class. And this was a great look for when I was slutting around, but I'm not doing that anymore. I swiped, I came, I conquered, you know? <laughs> Veni Vici Vaggi, if you know the Latin. <laughs> I named my strap on Brutus, but that's not the point. <laughs> oh, a couple of you read, that's cool. Good, good, good. The rest of you can Google that shit when you get home. Or write it in the comments or whatever. I don't know where this is going. <laughs> But now I crave intimacy. I don't want to be a slut anymore. You know what I mean? I want intimacy, but my problem is I don't know how to get to intimacy without fucking my way to it. Do you understand? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to be a whore, but I don't know how else to get a hug. Does that make sense? <laughs> Which app is that? Where you match, you don't hook up, you just kind of scratch each other's heads. <laughs> I don't want Tinder, I want Tickler, you know? That's what I'm looking for. And this outfit, it gives the wrong impression because women think that I'm like a fuck boy, but really what I want to do is just cuddle. And I never know how to ask for a cuddle while being in this character. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh girl, come back to my hotel room and we will cry, you know, like that. <laughs> like, you will be wet with tears, girl. So what I do instead, well, I could just ask for a cuddle, that is. Right, you're laughing. I could just literally <laughs> ask if I can be held. But I can't do that because I don't have a good relationship with my mom. So <laughs> instead what I do is I have my cuddle plan. The cuddle plan is I'm gonna fuck her good, I'm gonna fuck her good, I'm gonna fuck her good. And then I am baby. You understand? <laughs> I'm gonna fuck the shit out of her and then num num num, nurse from mommy, yes. Get the self-esteem, the nutrients. <laughs> Some of you pulling back on the mommy issues. <laughs> be so deep inside of this woman, we're connected by an umbilical cord, okay? When I pull my fingers out, I want her to name them. Kyle, Ashley, the twins. <laughs> but sometimes it's hard to earn that validation in bed. You know what I mean? I don't know if you guys have had a night like this. Like uh, one time I was touching, I was, I was, this is her clit. I was touching her. <laughs> wow, not enough laughter on that. 
<laughs> Some learning going on. I'm touching. I don't know why the clit is all the way over here. It should be here, closer to you, probably. Unless you want to put the pussy on a pedestal. That's fine if that's your move. But I'm touching her. I'm touching her. Someone clapping for that. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck off, okay. <laughs> I'm touching her quid. I'm having one of those nights where she's like, she's like harder, 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 harder. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> so I'm, I'm going harder. And she's like harder, 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 harder. And my arm is flaring up. <laughs> and every vulva, beautiful, perfect in every way. This one made of steel, possibly. <laughs> She's like, harder, harder, harder. I'm like, this isn't a bean, it's a brick. I look like lesbian karate kid. Just going for my pink belt. You know what I'm saying? She's like, harder, harder, harder. What do you want me to do? Punch it? What is happening? You want a full Rocky? Just I look like a mountain goat on Discovery Channel just digging my hoof. Clinging for, to a cliff. You know? Like, what are we doing? Making pussy side guacamole? What is this? You guys were okay. Uh, I'm Ashley Gale.